a very good morning to all my dear children i welcome you all to ketik high school and junior college children today we are going to start with our new lesson of our unit 2 so children today we are going to study a new lesson that is anak krakatoa and this is lesson number 2.4 of our unit 2 so everybody open your textbooks to page number 34 and also hold a pencil with you all and underline the words as i see anak krakatoa krakatoa is an island in the sunda strait between java and sumatra in indonesia it is known for its volcano which erupts regularly what is volcano a volcano is a crack or opening in the earth's crust there is hot molten rock near the earth's center sometimes it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out when this happens we say that the volcano has erupted okay so children what they are speaking is about krakatoa now as you all can see krakatoa is an island and where is this island situated or located this island is located between sunda strait and java Sumatra in Indonesia and this island that is Krakatoa island is known for its volcano which erupts regularly as you all can see in the picture the smoke is coming out from the land or the small mountain that is there over there so this island is basically known for its volcano eruptions and now students what is volcano so let's study what volcano is now volcano as you all can see students on the mountain there is a small opening or a crack and all the molten rock near the earth center now at the earth center the molten rock now what is the meaning of the word molten means the rock that carries metal in it and which can be melted on high density or on high temperature so these rocks what happen they melts in the earth's crust and it becomes takes a form of lava and then this burst out of the opening through the uh, it this burst out through the opening or the crack and this is called as eruption which means we call it as volcanic eruption so this is how volcano erupts as you all can see this rocks that are there on the in the earth's crust what happens due to the heat they melt over there and then this melted liquid that is lava that erupts through the opening or the crack and this eruption is called as volcanic eruption understood a volcanic eruption happens on a tremendous scale thick dark clouds of smoke rise high from the opening and spread in the sky big glowing burning chunks of rock students kindly underline the word chunk and red hot lava are thrown out of the crack in the earth very hot mud and ash are also thrown out a great volcanic eruption can change the landforms in an area volcanoes are popularly classified into three categories active volcanoes active volcanoes erupt regularly next dormant volcanoes dormant volcanoes temporarily inactive or in a deep sleep we find information about the eruptions of these volcanoes in history 
but now they are quiet. Next we have is extinct volcanoes. Geographers can guess by looking at the rock formation that they used to erupt long long ago but there is no record of it in history. An extinct volcano is unlikely to erupt again. Now children when the volcano erupts we can see dark clouds coming out from the passage or the opening and with those clouds red hot lava is thrown out of the crack and not only lava but hot mud and ash is also thrown out when the volcano erupts now there are three types of volcano first we have is active volcano now children what are active volcano these are the volcanoes that erupt regularly after a certain period or after some time they erupt like for example Deccan traps in Maharashtra, Narconda and in Andaman Islands, Barren Island in Andaman Islands and Baratang Andaman Islands. All these are examples of active volcanoes in India. Now what are active volcanoes? Active volcanoes are those which erupts regularly after a certain period of time which means they erupt again and again after taking some break of time. Next we have is dormant volcanoes. Now dormant volcanoes means they temporarily inactive or in a deep sleep which means that we find information about the eruptions of these volcanoes in history but now they are quiet. Now what are dormant volcanoes? That during looking at the picture you all can get an idea that it's a spot of volcano eruption right? But these are the volcanoes which have erupted in history but now they are quiet and there is no evidence of the eruption. So these type of uh, volcanoes are called as dormant volcanoes because they don't erupt now but yes they have erupted somewhere in history. Next we have is extinct volcano. Geographers can guess by looking at the rock formation that they used to erupt long long ago but they have extinct now which means that the meaning of the word extinct is not existing now. So geographers when they look at the formation of the rock then they can tell us that it was a volcano, active volcano in history which means in past but now the volcano is extinct which means it does not exist now and it will not erupt. So these type of volcanoes which used to erupt in history are called as extinct volcanoes. Krakatoa is an active volcano. It has erupted many times causing great disasters. The worst of the eruptions took place in August 1883. The volcano erupted with such a loud boom that it was heard more than 3500 km away in Australia. It is believed to be the loudest sound that man has ever heard. The island which was a volcanic mountain collapsed on itself. The dust that was thrown up in the eruption rose to about 80 kilometers in the sky. It spread in the sky around the world and later settled in different parts of the world, thousands of kilometers away. The eruption caused giant waves or tsunamis in the sea near the island. About 165 villages and towns were destroyed due to the eruption and the tsunamis. 
the eruption destroyed two thirds of the island of Krakatoa. It collapsed beneath the surface of the sea, creating a huge underwater volcanic crater or hole. The hole was more than six kilometer wide. Anak Krakatoa. Krakatoa is an active volcano, which means it erupts again and again after certain intervals. And it has caused many disasters. The worst eruption of the Krakatoa was in 1883. Because the volcano erupted so loud, the voice that uh, that came out due to the eruption was so loud that it was heard more than 3500 kilometer away in Australia and it is believed to be the loudest sound that the man has heard. This island which was a volcanic mountain it collapsed on itself and the dust that was thrown up in the erosion, the dust rose up to 80 kilometers, which means that up to 80 kilometers above the sky, the dust was thrown. So that huge the eruption of this volcano was. And it spread in the sky around the world. Later, it settled down. Now this eruption caused giant waves or tsunamis in the sea near the island so now due to this eruption the waves were created and tsunami was due to this giant waves there was tsunami near the sea that uh, near the sea that was there the, in the other island and 165 villages and towns were destroyed due to this eruption so when this eruption took place there were 165 villages around this island and because the tsunami due to the eruption there was giant waves in the sea which type of it was a small tsunami so this led to the destruction of all those 165 villages that were settled around this island and it collapsed now what happened the eruption destroyed two-thirds of the island so because the eruption was so huge it destroyed the two-third of Krakatoa Island and then it collapsed beneath the surface of the sea and this created a huge underwater volcanic crater or hole so this eruption also took place under the water and it created because of this eruption a hole was created and the hole was more than six kilometer wide so this eruption caused a lot of destruction and hence it was called as or known as the worst of the eruptions that took place in Krakatoa okay so children now we will stop here rest lesson we will complete in our next class till then read the lesson and bye bye have a nice day ahead thank you